Hello everyone, welcome to Unit 2 Measures of Central Tendency. Today I will be discussing some special cases of median calculations. The first case we will be discussing on open-ended class. What do you mean by open-ended class when in any class interval the upper limit or the lower limit is not given. For example, Calculate the median from the following data. In this, in this question, you see x less than 5, the number of observations are given. x less than 10, the number of observations are given. So this is a kind of open-ended class. x less than 15, 465, and so on. Let's see how to solve this kind of problem. The first thing for doing this kind of question is to create a class interval. And then the next thing will be frequency. So zero to five is my first class interval because it is given below five. Below five means zero to five. And the number of observation will be as it is. So frequency will be 29. Now below 10, the class interval will be between five to 10. What will be the frequency here? The frequency will be the number of observations 224 minus 29, which will be 195. Let me explain why we are doing in this way. Because the number of observations which are below 10, that includes the number of observations which are below 5. That means this 224 number includes 29 observations. So within only the class limit of 5 to 10, the number of cases actually are 224 minus 29, which is 195. So we have calculated the frequency 195. Following the same procedure, the class interval will be 10 to 15, and the number of cases will be 465 minus of 195 will get 241. Similar way, the next class interval will be 15 to 20 and the frequency will be 582 minus of 582 minus the previous frequency. In this way, we can calculate all the frequency of all class interval. For example, the last one is 40 to 45 and the frequency will be actual frequency will be 666 minus 6 660 minus 656 which will be 4 once we get all the frequency let's start our calculation for median as we know median we need the cumulative frequency so we have to create one more column cumulative frequency or cf so first cumulative frequency will be as it is the frequency only 29 then we'll add 195 plus 29 is 224. 224 plus 241 is 465. 465 plus 117, it will give the CF as 582. 582 plus 52 will be giving you 634. Similar way, we'll end up with the total other frequencies 660 in the class interval 40 to 45. One thing to notice here, whatever the number of observations they have given in the question as below 10, below 15 and all, the same number will come in your cumulative frequency column. Let me explain why is it so. Because below 45, suppose we are thinking about this particular class interval, that actually include everything which are below 45. So all these classes below 40, below 35, below 30, everything is included in that number. That's why the total frequency is coming 660. And this is the cumulative frequency for the class interval 40 to 45. Now, to calculate the median, we need to find the n by 2. The value of n by 2 is 660 divided by 2, which is 330. Let's follow the formula which I have already discussed in my previous video. Median is equals to, first thing we have to see which is my median class. So 330, this value we have to check in the cumulative frequency column. Which value is crossing that value 330? I mean, 
which is either equal or greater than 330. In our present situation, you see this value is 465. So this particular class is our median class. I have highlighted it for your easy understanding. Let's see, so the first thing, lower limit of the median class will be 10 plus n by 2, which is 330 minus fm minus 1, which is the frequency of the preceding class of the median class, which is 224, divided by the frequency of the median class, which is 241, entire thing multiplied by the common width, which is in our case 10 to 15, which is 5. Once we calculate, we get the median as 12.199. Now, one thing we need to remember while calculating the median, we need to have the class interval which are continuous or which are measured with the exclusive class method. Let's have a look what I wanted to say in this particular situation. This is another special case of inclusive class. Let me remind you, what do you mean by inclusive class? To do that, let's see this question. Calculate median from the following data where the height in inches is given 62 to 62, 63 to 65. Inclusive class means this value 62 is included in that class interval. For example, 66 to 68, if any value is 68, it should be included in that particular class interval. In this particular situation, how to calculate the median, we have to check it. So number of students are given. The first thing to do uh, to proceed further for this kind of cases, we have to make it continuous or we have to make it exclusive class. How to do that? Let's first find the value of correction factor. What do you mean by correction factor? Correction factor is the gap between the upper class, uh, between the lower class limit of the following class minus the upper class limit of the preceding class. What I mean to say is, upper, the second class interval, you see the lower limit is 63. The first class, the upper limit is 62. So the gap is 63 minus 62, which is one. I have to divide that by two. So I'm coming with a number which is 0 0.5. This is called my correction factor. Once again, I'm repeating how to calculate correction factor. The gap between one class, the upper limit and the following class lower limit. The number should be divided by 2, which will give you correction factor. Now we have to correct the lower limit and the upper limit to make it continuous. To make it continuous, the lower limit, all the lower limit should be subtracted by the number of correction factor. And all the upper limit should be added by the correction factor. Let's have a look. First one is 60, the lower limit. I have to subtract. 0.5, so I'll come up with a number, 59.5. The second class interval is actually, a lower limit is 63. If I subtract 0 0.5, it will come 62.5. Following the same procedure, we'll get all the lower limit. For calculating the upper limit, I have to just add the number. So 62 plus 0.5, 62.5, 65 plus 0.5, 65.5. So uh, if you uh, just observe, you see there is no gap now between the upper limit of one class interval and the lower limit of the following class. So it's a continuous class or it's an exclusive method of class interval. After that, the procedure should be same how to calculate median will follow same procedure. So we first find the frequency, total frequency in our case is coming 420. Therefore, the n by 2 value will come as 210. Now we need to identify the next column, which is cumulative frequency. We have to calculate all the cumulative frequency by adding frequency of each one and the next one. So first CF is 25, next is 25 plus 108, which is 133. 
133 plus 142, 275. Following the procedure, we come up with 420, which is nothing but our total number of observations. So n by 2 is 210. Let's see in the CF column which value crosses 210 or which value is either greater or equal to 210. In our particular situation, the value which is just more than 210 is 275. So this is the particular class, which is our median class. Median class, once we identified, we'll apply the formula. The formula for calculating median is L1. So our case L1 is 65.5 plus N by two. N by two is 210 minus F M minus one, which is the cumulative frequency of the preceding class of the median class with in our case, which is 133 divided by frequency of the median class, which is 142 entire thing multiplied by the common width, common width in our case is five. So if we calculate, we'll get the number 67.1267 inches. That is the median height of this particular class. So these are all about the special cases of median. I hope you have a thorough understanding. In my next video, I will discuss about mode. So that's all. Thank you.